Hey, Hey, I'm back here with Hitman uh, 2, Silent Assassin. We already heard this last time. So, uh, in wake of all the murder risings we've been doing, people are pretty freaked out. We're actually sneaking into a, a military compound this time, which doesn't sound good. <laughs> Once again, we've got an option with the sewers. Here is where the, the sewer wall is thinnest, and we'll, we'll be able to blow it open and exit into the subway, they said. Uh, it doesn't exactly show us where we start. Ooh, okay, so... These are the sewers. The streets look like... Oh, okay, yes, this is... I mean, this area is all going to be restricted, right? Even though it's not marked red currently. <laughs> this is where the supply drop for me is. So I assume we start somewhere around here anyway. Which means they're going to be doing a lot of trekking through the sewers. The military headquarters are a lot smaller than I was imagining, actually. But they're said to have two basements. Oh, okay, it's pretty straightforward to get in there. If we've got the appropriate outfit, I assume. I assume disguising is going to be ridiculously important here. Oh, no, the sewer... The, okay, the basements are, like, stupid complicated. Got it. Oh, sorry, I'm silly. Uh, this is where the, the wall gets blown open. And it leads into the sewers, I guess, here. Uh, and that's and this is where our actual exit is. So once we blow it open, we're going to have to head left, cross, turn right, cross, and then turn right. <laughs> left, cross, right, cross, right. Left, cross, right, cross, right. I'll definitely remember that. Uh, so interrogation room, we're assuming the prisoner... Second... Oh, well, I, they, they could be anywhere in, in the basement. Well, no, they, it says that the prisoner would specifically be in the second basement, right? Okay, cool. So the second basement's a lot smaller. So the real trouble is, I guess the freeing the prisoner hopefully comes first? Well, we don't know if it's like the previous game where they just run free or if we have to, like, actually escort them. If we have to escort them, it's gonna suck. <laughs> Because I'll have to bring them up to the first basement. which And it's like genuinely like across the entire thing that I'll have to bring them. Oh dear. Many points of interest going on here though. That's probably worth... It's probably worth just nicking an outfit. And then before even trying to undertake the mission. Just wandering around for a bit and seeing what happens. Although if it's anything like the villa. Then we're in such close quarters here. That even with a good disguise. I'll have to like avoid close contact with anyone. Headquarter! <laughs> so the prisoner is likely going to be in either the interrogation room, the observation room, or whatever this unmarked room is, uh, if they're on the second basement. The rest of this looks just as a hallway. Oh, I'm very interested in this one. Probably if it's a military thing, they maybe would do a pat down on you before you enter? I don't actually know. And I guess if you're in uniform, maybe not. So I might be able to bring... Well, actually, this would be an excellent time for those silenced guns of mine, being that it's going to be all close quarters and stuff. <laughs> so it's a shame I didn't bring them. Target video. This is just... A video of uh, the interrogation room, or what precisely are we looking at here? Just two guards hanging out. So that'll be the one we're looking for. They've got an eye patch, have they? Nice, that should be pretty easy to spot. Not a very friendly general. <laughs> guards won't miss him, probably. <laughs> the guards should look so unhappy to be here right now. <laughs> We got pretty stable video of this, I gotta say. Where the hell are you recording from? And that's gotta be an interrogation room right there. I gotta say, it's a shame that it's not like a photo code in 47 where the, these videos always end with them noticing you and be like, OH MY GOD! <laughs> like running away. Although I guess it kind of makes sense that they wouldn't have noticed you recording them, because if they had, they probably wouldn't still be carrying on with their daily business. They would have beefed up security a long time ago. Right, this is just you again. So what we don't know is what the prisoner looks like, is what you're saying. Well, I guess it'll be obvious. They'll be, you know, not in uniform, and they'll be, like, malnourished and looking in ill health. Right, so, um... I don't foresee myself having a good... I guess that was the prisoner. I don't foresee myself having a good time <laughs> getting an outfit, but I'm gonna give it a try anyway. So I've got three exits I can make to the sewers here. Uh, one of them is gonna be right around the, the depot here. Sorry, two of them are... And then two of them are the military headquarters. Uh, this little icon here says VIP. I guess that just means the prisoner? Wait, hold a tick. Does that mean they're marked here? Oh, sure. Them and the target are both in the uh, interrogation room at present. Good. They'll be marked. That's the first time we've had a, an actual VIP. That wasn't just it. Them getting the colors mixed around. Um, so I wasn't sure. So I wasn't sure if they would be marked is what I mean. Uh, because they don't mark enemies, even though they've given me that in the legend, which, I, again, I assume is because of my difficulty. Right, so hang on, hold on a sec. Why do I only see one exit from the sewers where I am? Oh, there are two, in fact. Um, although this one seems to be closed off. This is where I am. How would you get there? Oh, maybe you only, you only get there from up top, which probably means there's something good down here, like a good weapon or something? 
I'm very interested to see how uh, what's over there. So I think I'm definitely not going to try and actually fulfill the objective this first time. I'm just going to steal an out, try do my best to steal an outfit and get in there and see what the hell's going on. Uh, but let's for sure start at least with the military, uh, the depot here. Because even if I'm not going to take any of it right now, I'd, I'm, I'd rather uh, I'm rather curious what oh, I didn't put any of these weapons away. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, SD means suppressed. Right, I didn't even bother to check what the pistol SD meant of the, from the previous mission. Neat, so we have a, also the silence 9mm now. Which is kind of cool. The truck is starting up! What truck? Calm down! <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh my god, I shouldn't be, like, walking out in the open here. There are guards, like, every which way. Ah! Case in point. Right, I didn't realize it would be like... I was in the middle of a thing guarded by, like, six people. I thought it would be, like, maybe one guard hanging out here. Hold on a minute, because I'm rather curious what... Uh, oh, so I guess this truck's starting out. That, that could be a way into the compound, maybe, is what they're telling me. If I sneak into the back of it. Didn't even know that was an option until just now. But I just want to yoink an outfit um, ASAP and, like, go walking around and see what I can find here. And, and I also want to understand how far in disguise will get me. Will the Are the guards allowed into the military building, say? Or, or is the does the outfit change at that point? So like I could run up and I could sneak up behind you in stealth maybe. Or but is it is the truck just put here so that it could be as simple as generally just walking up here? To get it? Oh, this door is open. Uh, I wonder what that's about. Alright, this doesn't lead to the truck, but maybe. Oh, is this the the thing marked FCK or is this just some random gun? Hang on, wh where where am I? No, okay. F uh, what I'm looking for is over here. But there it ha happens to be an AK here if I wanted to go loud here, is what they seem to be trying to tell me. Did I just hear a phone ring? So my gear is way over the, under that awning on the far side there. I don't see any marked things marked with letters anywhere. Let alone FCK. Oh, is this the guard who's going to stand right beside here that I could maybe yoink the clothes off of, perhaps. Oh, did the truck only start leaving before because I was immediately seen? That maybe. So you're just gonna turn around when you get there, right? So I could, in theory, grab your outfit. I'm glad I got, got the anesthetic with me then, damn. So nighty night you. Oh, I've got more max anesthetic now than I did before. That's cool. wonder why that is. Got your outfit. Uh, I'm not gonna bother hiding your clothes. I don't think anyone else walks over here. Pick up AK and uh, unstealth because I'm totally normal now. So I don't know what the deal with is with this truck. Maybe I could hop in the back of it or something. It kind of looks like that, doesn't it? But before I, there's a phone ringing. Before I do anything of the sort, I wonder what's the thing flapping at the top of the, <laughs> the truck there. Let's go have a look over here where my my box is said to be. Was over here, right? Don't mind me just pulling out this entire laptop and looking at that. Oh, those ones are marked. Hey there. Sorry, I forgot I wasn't supposed to walk close to you, jeepers. Oh, that's good. That was close. <laughs> right, so that is, it is like that in the villa. Although it's um, probably going to be a little less close quarters in the villa, precisely. So there's, they've got a little agency icon here. <laughs> it's not very well hidden. And within it is pistol, phone, night vision. Oh, phone probably is necessary to blow up the wall, isn't it? Uh, never mind, a mini bomb. Guards found an unconscious person. Right, well, they would, wouldn't they? Now they're going to be looking for a suspicious guard. So a pager, a phone, and a, the bomb? And a bomb remote. What the hell is all this for? Objective status changed. Find my equipment. Brilliant. Gotcha. <laughs> Our client is most oh, right. Of course, I would actually have to because I need the, 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 the bomb. Last... Right. So if I do this, but actually hide the, uh, the body a little better, that could be a good way to start. It didn't seem like, it seemed like the truck wasn't actually going to just pull out of there just yet. Until I actually got seen. So there's not a huge time pressure there. And it took them a while to find that body. So I should be able to... Well, I don't know if it'll count as a kill if I drag them to the, the manhole and they fall in. I mean, that would kill a normal person. I may as well at least take... Oh, hey, sorry. I forgot to look if there was anyone there. <laughs> and I assume that person in the thumbnails are prisoners. They're, they've got sort of reddish hair. Short. And they're going to look, like I suggested, in ill health. So since the, in, in that box is the detonator for the bomb, which I wasn't expecting... Uh, I don't know where I thought I'd get it, but I didn't. It somehow wasn't there. It makes perfect sense that I ought to, um... I, I do have to actually legitimately 100% for sure get that first. Oh, it says the truck is starting up this time. Unless it always said that before, and it just didn't. Maybe that doesn't mean it's immediately about to go. Like I thought. Right, let's start by dragging ye. Uh, get over here. We can just tuck you into this cupboard over here, I think. Nobody noticed this. There are a lot of boxes in the way of you noticing this. But because I've anesthetic you, it doesn't mean we are on a pretty strict time pressure to get in there, do the things, and get out. Uh, well, I say pretty strict. A somewhat strict time pressure to get in there and get out. 
And that's why they leave the AK here, because you might have left the AK behind when hiding this body, which I did. Right, maybe uh, the, the lower number is just to show me that that's 30 is how many I have in the mag, but they don't want to actually put 30 bullets going down because that wouldn't have fit in with the earlier resolution. That's probably it. Oh, right. Yep, sorry. Don't walk near you. I totally did remember and didn't forget it at all. Oh, you're walking the same way as me. That's totally cool. <laughs> of course, I can get by walking before they actually hear me, do you think? Pretty damn close. Oh, that was enough for them to hear. Okay. So about one green box's distance is where they'll hear you if you're walking. So I haven't the foggiest idea what the phone or the pager is going to be for. Maybe just letting you know to stand clear of the bomb or something? But I don't suppose there's any problem with taking them with me. Oh, right, sorry, I was supposed to wait for... Oh, you didn't notice, it's fine. Who even cares? I guess that's someone's mobile phone. They've just given it a different uh, oh. ringtone. She wasn't a capability I would have thought was especially prevalent in whenever this game takes place. Although they said it's been some time since the previous game. The previous game took place in the... 90s? So this could well be early 2000s, and maybe that was just on the bare end of something that you could do with a flip phone in the early 2000s. Oh, I'm so glad that they changed fixed the guns in this game, where if you pick up one you already have, it just gives you the ammo, rather than swapping it for another gun with, like, two bullets. Oh, right, you're gonna go up those stairs, so I want to be, like, not walking right beside you and stuff. Don't look at me like I'm suspicious. You're suspicious. Go away! I wonder if the whole them noticing you're not for real if you walk close to them thing is a, only a thing on the higher difficulties, or if that's uh, the same across all difficulties. <laughs> when they said it would be in a marked container, I didn't really picture them saying, meaning, like, there's a little milk crate behind all this stuff. I thought much more I was expecting, like, in one of these crates I'd have to, like, pry it open or something. I've already got a pistol, a 9mm pistol. They gave me that in the previous mission, so I don't need to worry so much about that, I suppose. So I can go back down to the sewers now and, and walk my way over, but I'm, I don't know what the deal with this truck is. Is the idea that I can climb into the back? Because I'm kind of interested to try it, at least. What is that ringing? Where is that coming from? Is that on me? From the phone I just picked up? No, surely not. Uh, would anyone see me do this? Oh! These people might, but what if I just climb in anyway? Oh, it automatically goes first person. That's horrible. I don't like that. Right, so it's one of those video game trucks that just moves immediately. Oh, but they, hey, they all noticed. Is that going to be an issue? That might be an issue if they see me just, like, hiding in the back. Probably should have crouched down, shouldn't I? <laughs> Oops. Okay, let's try that again. I think this game would be pretty hard to play in first person. Ooh, although, can, it's, thinking about it now, I probably, probably would have been easier to take the shot through the window in the second mission in first person, wouldn't it? I do appreciate also, you can just hold down the fire button and then he'll automatically use it when you get close enough to use it because it's kind of hard to tell how close you need to be. So they, they let you just hold down the attack button and then once you get close enough, he automatically just starts doing it. Oh right, well if I've already got the gun and I try and pick it up again, it's just gonna give me ammo for it, so I may as well just take everything from here. I was worried that if I like picked up the pistol, then people would see it in my hands, but if, it, if it's a gun you already have, then it just, it, just, it just turns into more ammo by magic, which is how most of your games do it. Oh, what's this button here, do you do, do you think? Oh, maybe that's what that was ringing. It's like an intercom thing that lets them know to bring the truck through. It doesn't make the noise I would have expected. I would have expected to go like, beep, or something like that, not... <laughs> so let's try just walking in here, but actually crouching this time. Surely no one will see this, right? Nice, that's better. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how this helps. Like, I don't know where the, they, this takes me as opposed to uh, going back through the sewers, if this is going to be easier somehow or what. But let's give it a go. Mercifully, it is one of those video game trucks that just goes the second the hero climbs into it, though. <laughs> uh, right, I'd like to look at my map, but I think that'll uncrouch him, and I don't necessarily want to do that just yet. Well, I guess I've got no choice. It looks like they're stopping here. Um, we're right outside the military headquarters. Well, there's a sewer grate that goes here anyway, so I'm not sure that actually helped all that much. Uh... Think I can just get out here and no one will notice? I mean, it feels like people might notice a little bit. Yeah, they did notice that thing that I did. Um, how does, how is that better than the sewer? I wonder. Let's try the sewer this time. God, scared me. Dragging bodies is a lot better in this game because oh. you, uh, because running works like it does in a normal video game where you hold a run button to run rather than. W being run and every other button being walk <laughs> and you and, and sprinting automatically making you drop the body That's not how it works in this game So dragging the bodies feels a lot more normal You just hit drag and then you start walking like normal because in in 40, 47 It was like you have to you have to be really careful to and I think I did I maybe change it in the end so that X was the run forward button and W was just walk forward I think I might have changed that by the end to make it so so it wasn't so dumb <laughs> 
but it was really bad for for a first while because it was like I would I would be like okay drag and then I'd be panicking and like hit W to move forward and he'd just like start sprinting without <laughs> the body and I have to turn around and run back and get it. A lot of refinement has gone into this game since the first one, which is excellent. It seems like as long as I'm not even don't ever end up holding the, the silenced gun. Actually, I, I don't even know if anyone's walking beside me because I can't turn my camera while I'm doing this. But uh, it seems like I'm allowed to just pocket all that stuff and no one notices. So let's try the sewers this time. Maybe climbing into the sewers while I'm in uniform looks weird. That could be as well. Although no one's actually looking at where that sewer is, are they? <laughs> 47 is really, really putting the work in on this ladder. <laughs> um, so probably the way we want to go first is the one that's on the left. Uh, oh, but that would be hard without going into this sewer first. Right, and now where is that? I guess that was the person we knocked out moaning there. I don't know how we heard them through a sewer floor. We must be incredibly good at hearing, which kind of makes sense. Uh, hang on now. Um, it sits over by, like, the water. How does that work? Is it cool for... Oh, I shouldn't be running. Sorry. Is it cool for me to just, like, walk over there? Oh, no, yeah, it's, like, right there. Someone here watching it. I guess I could anesthetic them as well and then put them behind something. Is there a truck driver who would notice that? I wonder. I presume if I walk in front of them and climb down the manhole, they'll be like, what the hell are you doing? Oh, no, they walk away eventually. Okay, that's even better. To go into the intercom, I guess. Which means there's no one around to notice me do something as suspicious as that. Oh, those people would totally have seen me if I tried to... Oh, 47, is there a reason you're not going down the ladder? I can't move. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I can't move. 47. Okay, that was close. Okay. Those people will definitely see me if I anesthetic this person, so I'm definitely just supposed to wait till that, that person leaves to get down here. Cool! Um... Because this seemed to be the only way up to the, uh... This exit, which by the map just looks like it'll be a little more... Just looks like it'll be a little more stealthy. It won't be, like, right into the middle of the compound like that other sewer entrance was. Of course, this is all just speculation on my part till we get there. A little worried about taking out a general in a compound, though, without making a stir. Well, got my silenced gun. So that might be possible. Especially as the stealth actually works in this game. I could, I could sneak... As long as I was in the same room as them, basically. I could, I could stealth, pull it out, they wouldn't notice. I could go, pew, take them out, and then no one would even know anything was wrong, in theory. Maybe they hear a death cry, but I'm not sure. Right, so in this little... Uh, yes, this is, as I suspected by the map, much more stealthy. Uh, I don't know if it'll be weird to see a guard coming from out from behind here, considering they're... Oh, I'm supposed to... I'm, I can vault a wall here. Oh, up! So you wouldn't, you would be weird to see me up there. Yes, I agree. So let's wait till there's no one who would see that before I hop down. Gotcha. And I'm in the compound. Neat. Um, so I want to head to the door, which is over this way, without crossing close paths with anyone. At ease. Um, so yeah, this seems like a thousand times better than the truck, because I don't actually have to... I found an unconscious... Looking for a suspicious soldier. Wait, how did they... Did the person wake up, or did they just, like, walk over there and find them? Oh, dear. That's kind of not what I was hoping to hear. Well, uh, we got as far as here, at least, before everyone immediately noticed me, and there's no way out of this, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure the second this person turns the corner, I'm toast. So I probably should have hit around the other side of this box, uh, which I'm going to go do now. Sorry about it. Wait, why Why would you... No, there's nothing suspicious going on here, though. <laughs> why would you suppose that there was? Why would you go around this particular box and look for something suspicious? On your way now. Did that, did that work? Are they going to walk away now? So, okay, so they don't actually shoot me on sight, but it's probably, it's, I guess that means that they will, like, actually walk over and try and investigate me more thoroughly now. Okay, no, they haven't lost me at all. They just, they're just trying to get me to me while I'm in this corner and it's not going well for them. Is it time for the silenced gun? Shush, 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 quiet, quiet, quiet. <laughs> there we go, no one will notice that. <laughs> I kind of doubt that's going to work. I mean, I, have to, I get through, like, a bunch more guards anyway, so that's not like that will help much, but... Just to give me an, a, a chance to actually get in here and look around, let's start with that. Oh, that person's definitely going to notice the body. What am I doing? Okay, good. So looking for a suspicious soldier doesn't mean they actually shoot me on sight. It means that they have a, a heightened chance to look at, to go and try and find me and look at me and stuff. He's just got a lot more dramatic now that we're in here. Uh, in here is a gun. 
a deagle impact. That's not really stealthy, like I would hope for, so I'm not going to try and do it. Oh, some kind of uniform here. Is this the same uniform I've already, I'm already wearing? It seems to be, yeah. So that's just if I got in here somehow without one, I guess. Wouldn't really help if I didn't have the AK, I suppose. And that's the elevator to the basement. Well, we can still get into the basement, at least, even though I, I, I don't fancy my chances of actually completing the mission at this juncture. And I do have one unfortunate extraneous kill. That person just wouldn't leave me alone. It does say authorized personnel only, doesn't it? Two-star authorized, which I don't know if that's me right now, so I, I might not be allowed in this elevator. All right, uh, let's... Oh, the elevator. Why does it work this way? Oh, okay, here we go. Oh, it's so much better in the, in the first game. The button isn't, like, over here in the wall. It's actually where the button would be. I've been awarded a bonus save. What? Said that? Didn't know that was a thing. Uh, yeah, I probably should use that, shouldn't I? Why not? If I want to do it without kills later, I can always just reload from the, the very top. Oh, yeah, this isn't going to work out well, is it, with this person here? I'm uh, sorry. Carry on walking where you were going to walk. I'm, I'll just stand here. Oh, my God. Okay. Um, Hang on. I don't know if that marker there is just because that's where my supply depot was on uh, up top, or if there's another supply depot here. For me, I mean. So I need to get all the way over to here to get to the elevator to the second basement, I guess. Which involves... Oh, it involves going through, like, all of this. All right, all right. I think the security cameras can notice me as weird. Well, I'm sure acting weird right now, stopping with my laptop in the middle of the hallway. So I want to go down this hallway, take the first right, and then the left. I think. Don't be suspicious. <laughs> the way they ponderously stroke their chin. Hmm. <laughs> This guy looks a little funny. Hey there, don't mind me. I'm not being sneaky. I'm just hanging out. <laughs> just uh, taking my break. My scheduled 35-ish second break. My break that lasts precisely as long as it takes for you to get by. Exactly. Just like that. That's what I'm doing. That's the room I was trying to head to? Yeah. Am I allowed in this room? I don't know. <laughs> but it does seem to be the most direct way to where I'm trying to get, so... Whoa! Okay, my apologies. Uh... Sorry about it. Wait, is this a good time for anesthetic, maybe? Why, we, why not? We gotta save that's close by. Because you've got a different outfit than me. And it might be a good one to have. Wait, hold on. You're not, you're not on a target, are you? No, you haven't got an eye patch. Uh... Oh, hey, look! I know it looks bad, but ah! Right, let's just re keep reloading these, this save for the time being. Um, I wouldn't mind if this door could open, please. Thanks. Okay, control room seems bad. I feel bad about that one extraneous kill, because it really could have been avoided if I had just hit the body better, I guess. I get- or not, unless maybe what that means is that person woke up. Maybe I've just taken too long. I mean, this is just a, a thing that's going to take long, considering I have to slowly move through these hallways, so... Probably that person has just woken up by now. Maybe. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not having a good sense of how long it takes for them to wake up. Oh, you're just going to turn around and walk back this way, are you? Well... I'm just Blair Witching in the corner here. It's not... I think, ah, damn it. I should have just slipped into this little alcove. They awarded me a bonus save, though. This is the first time I've ever been able to use one. I feel so good. Because we've done reasonably well up to this point. Everyone's just a bit suspicious. So this is still still viable in spite of the one unfortunate extraneous kill. And it's starting to look like with how complex this place is, it would suck to have to go through that whole first bit over and over and over and over just to get a chance to look at this place. Considering it's so close quarters and you're so likely to... to bump into people and get spotted. It's very very nice of them to give you a bonus save at this point. I think that just always happens as like a pre-scripted thing when you walk down here. Or is it because I did well somehow? <laughs> guard quarters. So I can walk in here. And Actually, why not? Let's just have a look at what's... Well, a lot of guards are in there. I mean, that makes sense. That does make sense. I probably should have looked through the keyhole first. hey -o. How's it going, Smith? Still on for cards tonight, right? Good, 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 good. Oh, <laughs> There's Jägen. No, wait, Jägen, calm down. Ugh. He's still mad at me because I stole his tater tots the other day. Right, um... I'm a little curious what happens if I go over here just because there's, like, a little agency icon there. I don't know if there's actually a drop there or if it's just kind of, uh, reading the one that's up above ground. Like, if I'm now below where that little crate was. <gasps> don't see me picking a lock. It's fine, I'm just opening a door. That's not legal. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like there's much interesting going on here. I mean, there's another AKMA as well. Pocket that. The shadow on this table is, like, so stark in comparison to the rest of this world. 
Right, so that's just a bug that that icon is hanging out there. I, it would seem, unless I missed something super obvious or super hidden, I guess. So moving on this way, it should be unguarded here. It looks like just more normal hallway at this point. Radio there. Curious. Oh, wait, am I in the control room 47. now? Whoops, sorry. Yes, but I'm just not walking into it from behind that person there. Did they notice me as weird? I assumed I wasn't just allowed to walk through them because they were, like, standing legit in front of that door. But I, 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 I wasn't sure whether or not they noticed me as weird. They don't seem to. So I'm cool to keep heading on. Really, I'd like to go this way, although server room makes it sound like I might not be allowed in. Yeah, it does, actually. That's what the, that's what that sign means. <laughs> Tell me, I was like, why is there a red thing with a line through Sorry. That makes sense. That does make a lot of sense. I gotta go around there, although the server room probably has some interesting stuff, and I could probably, like, turn off... Security cameras or something. Because I guess if I if I shoot someone on a security camera, then even if I do it I do it with a silencer, everyone will know. What do you suppose these little outcomes are for? Just to hide, I guess. Double door opening noise. That's a little disconcerting, but that's all right. This hallway mostly seems pretty bare. Probably okay to put a bit of a jug on here. I didn't have to use the save precisely when I used it, I suppose. I could have like gotten in a bit further, but I think it, it felt fair to use it just then because we'd made some decent progress in sneaking in here. Oh my god, you know what, it is, it, I, I, this, I know this is so dumb, but it is actually going to bug me if I <laughs> don't get in here without that one extraneous kill. Hang on, hang on, let me just get back there in that same spot without having that extraneous kill and then we'll be good. I can stop freaking worrying about it. For the odds, I can actually hide them in the sewer and it doesn't kill them. No, that doesn't seem to be a thing. So, I mean, they're probably going to, this probably, person's probably going to wake up and everyone's going to find them eventually. But we were, st we were still making it through all right, even once they were looking for a suspicious guard, right? Like, we weren't having that much trouble navigating through that hallway and everything. So it doesn't actually seem like it's going to be too tough once we get in there, even if they are looking for a suspicious guard. So that's why I just want to get back to that point without having done the murder <laughs> that I did. Because it's really not that far I have to go. I just have to get down that sewer, up the other side, and then slip into the door and get to the elevator. All without any big confrontation. And that should be pretty easy. I get night vision here as well, which is interesting. I suppose I could always just try using each item once I've got my save, see if they do anything obvious at the moment. Because maybe you can use them as distractions or something. Last time it was around here that it said they're looking for a suspicious soldier, right? And this comes out to a little secluded area where there's not going to be anyone ever. So we can sort of hightail it here and it's fine. I do kind of wonder what this little like bit of scaffolding is actually for. <laughs> I know how I'm using it, but what is it actually for? Oh god, I probably shouldn't have done that the way I did that with you like looking at me and stuff. Uh, anyone coming around here? Yeah, maybe I just wait till you pass and I'll... Oh, you're going to stop there. That's neat of you to do. Okay, fine. You're going to stop there and then just turn right back around, though, so that's not much of an issue. As for you, do you think they'll find it suspicious if I walk around? Oh, they're not going to hang around. Interesting. So I can even put on a bit of a jog here. Before I get to this door. And once we get to this door, we have a lot more options, I think. Start looking through the keyhole, though. Yeah, I can probably just walk past you up to the stairs here. Don't be alarmed about me. Cool. Awesome. And all we need to do is walk past you to get to that elevator and we'll have made this without the extraneous kill. There's probably some other interesting stuff we could find up here. But I think I'll be alright without. I mean, I probably should have taken the deagle just so we'd have it in our in our selection of weapons for future missions. Although I don't really foresee myself. <laughs> Considering the stealth is a little better in this game, I, I, hope, I hope to never have to use it. Something like that. But you never know. Things all might get the villa in Sicily-ish again. So the question is, do they always award you a bonus save when you go down into this basement? Yes, they do! Sweet. Happy with that. So let me just overwrite the other one because this has gone much better. They have, it doesn't even say they're looking for a suspicious guard yet. So I should be having an easy, even easier time now. And one less horrific bloody murder on 47's conscience. I mean, they're still pretty suspicious of me anyway. Oh, oh yeah, they're actually going to walk over and like talk to me. Ah, wait! But haha, <laughs> guess what? <laughs> I've got this. So I, I guess I should just hang out here till you go. Yeah, like that. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Resuming from where we were. Sorry. Now nah, they're looking for a suspicious soldier. That's alright. It's only a matter of time. And, uh... It's not like I thought where as soon as they know that, uh... You're gonna be around... That there's a suspicious soldier about... You instantly can't... This disguise just is completely broken. Although it's weird that they don't say they found an unconscious guard. They just say they're looking for a suspicious soldier now. Do I mean just casually leaning against this wall? That's not suspicious behavior. In the against walls is something that a lot of you do. Even with this mid-mission save, there's still a fair bit we need to left, we have left to do. Although I guess most of it happens in the second ba uh, basement. So we head through here. I bet there's some interesting stuff you can do with these uh, security cameras as well. Maybe if, like maybe if you take out the people who are operating them, which I guess would necessitate taking you out as well. And perhaps uh, 
you can get away with more stuff on camera. Hi! Wave to the camera, 47! Hi! I like to imagine 47 just, like, doing that thing where you, you look for the security camera and the little monitor that shows it, and you're, like, uh, uh, making faces at it, trying to see yourself. Uh, right, so we said we could probably just run all the way down here. What was around this bend? Uh, some more guard quarters. Something of interest here, which I'm kind of curious about, to be brutally honest with you. I suppose I could... We don't know how long the bomb takes, so I could, I could plant the bomb now. Or is that dumb? Because then someone might find it in the interim. Yeah, that's probably dumb. Let's at least look at where we're going to plant the bomb. Oh, so this area is restricted, uh, and I'm on camera, but... Can I just go anyway? The people watching the cameras are, like, not doing their jobs, it would seem. <laughs> Oh, no, maybe, maybe, maybe they are. So what is here that is so interesting? Is this a different outfit? Uh, yeah, I think it is. It's, it's one of the outfits with the different hats. I probably need that to get anywhere near the interrogation room. Because it's the same outfit as the general. Oops, sorry, not restart mission. I want to load uh, this one. I appreciate that it makes an automatic save at the beginning of every mission, but then also you could, your, any, any additional saves you make, it doesn't like overwrite them like like a jerk. Right, so I probably need that outfit, but of course I can't. Uh, so seemingly I cannot pick the lock while the cameras are operable. So what I probably have to do is get to the server room and like turn off power or something. Well, I'm assuming that. I'm doing a lot of assuming here. Let's let's just try and get to the second basement uh, without that outfit. It's a shame you really have to go like the entire compound to get to the uh, from the from this elevator to this one. But mercifully, once you're leaving, all you have to do is come back out and get as far as here to get to the sewer. I wasn't running. Shut up. There's basically no one past this point, right? Like, actually patrolling the hall, it seemed. So I should be good to just run through this whole portion. Running doesn't seem to become suspicious on the cameras for whatever reason. I guess the cameras, it's not like there's an actual sightline to an enemy looking at you. It's more like... Certain suspicious behaviors are recorded in front of cameras. So here, there are no cameras actually pointing at this thing here. So I guess I can walk over to the subway station, uh, which where we're going to blow up the wall. Oh yeah, no kidding, the wall is thin. I can probably even squeeze through that as it is. <laughs> Hint, close enough to draw a bomb. Oh, good. So all I, all I have to do is drop the bomb, which is an item. I just have to sit it here and then I go hit the bomb remote. Oh, I should, I should have a look at the... Uh, Descriptions for a bunch of this as well. The bomb's description is, Don't stand too close to this piece of equipment. Um, arm the bomb by pressing fire while holding it. To trigger the bomb, you'll need, to, you'll need the bomb remote. Oh, so I have to hold it, arm it, set it down, and then use the remote. Gotcha. That's useful to know. The pager doesn't have any description, nor does the phone. Although the phone has a an agency uh, logo on it, but you wouldn't think I would need that, considering they got me, like, they got an earpiece. Or me. The bomb remote... Um, says, use it to trigger the remote bomb. Remember to arm the bomb before using the remote control. Right, okay. So in theory, I can put the bomb down now and just blow it on my way out so I don't have to, like, hang around doing that because it might, like, it might be, like, arming, like, triggering it with the remote to, then it takes a few seconds after that. Uh, but I don't want to blow my cover right now, so let's, 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 well. Nah, it's fine. I'm sure I'll figure it out at the time. I could probably, I'm probably, they put this here so I can hide behind it to, and that'll be good. That'll be close enough and far enough. But everything is okay and I don't die. <laughs> Mercifully, there's no camera pointed at that uh, room there, though, so I don't look suspicious walking around. I didn't know there was going to be anyone here. Sorry about that. Right, because they're looking for a suspicious guard now. They're going to actually, like, follow me around a bit. So I can loop them around in this room. How am I going to do that? How did I think that was going to happen again? I'm not sure. I think I probably just thought I would, you know, squeeze on by like this. That's not going to work at Oh. <laughs> Maybe it is. Let's close that behind me, and now I'm walking casually, and no one knows anything. That's fine. <laughs> Let's walk into this huge sewer room with, like, an obvious hole to the sewer, mumbling to myself about bombs and detonators. <laughs> Nothing weird about that. Everyone does that. Look, I'm on my break, okay? You can't judge me for what I do on my break. Where am I actually headed here? Uh, just all, all the way along to the elevator, I guess. It might be a matter of you're not even allowed down this elevator without the right outfit. But yeah, this guard has my number. They're just like, I want to talk to you. Come here. And I'm like, no, I don't want to talk. I'm a raging introvert, okay? Please don't make me. Yeah, it fully says you're not allowed here. Uh, but I'm like reasonably. I'm I'm annoying people. It seems by my alert status there, but no one actually like sounded an alarm. So maybe I'm cool here. But maybe the second I get out here, someone will notice that I'm in the wrong place. I I hope the AI does not know how to use the elevators. 
So I can turn a left and a right from here, which probably makes it sound like there's going to be guards walking around this thing. And I want to be sneaky sneaky. No chance of a second bonus save, eh? <laughs> uh, no guards walking around immediately. Maybe I should have the... No, I'll keep the AK out at the moment. My alert status is still flickering. Ooh, interrogation's going on in here for sure. Is it just you two, though? Because if it's just you two... Is this the same agent as the last game? It seems kind of like it, doesn't it? Now I just remember that I had this kind of hair. I think it's time to just kick this door open and just... Oh, it's locked. Crap. Uh, but is this the only guy down here? Like, maybe I'm cool to, like, run around here and I won't be alerting anyone else. Let's give it a go, because maybe there's a key hanging around somewhere. In, like, in the observation room or something. I can't believe I made it down here. Ah! God, why did they all just shoot immediately? Is it because I made a fuss on the floor above? It doesn't mention that these are guards' quarters. Sheepers, that scared me. That door wasn't open, though, right? They opened it because I sprinted past, and so maybe if I just walk casually past, it's fine? Oh, I'm not sure. <laughs> Jeepers. Right, I'm gonna try and get back to, uh, to the, that elevator. It seemed like if I'm quick about it, it probably won't be too much of an issue. It may not be the stealthiest approach, but I think that probably if I could uh, slip past those guards' quarters that are unmarked on the second basement, that it probably wouldn't be too much- Oh, this person didn't even see me at all, that's useful. Probably then, all I have to do is get the guard and then- Oh, I do have to go back up the floor though, that could be an issue. So it may be worth looking into getting that guard's uniform, that office, uh, general's uniform after all. I went way too close to you. Best, the, the, my best theory is that uh, the way to get to that guard's, that officer, uh, general's uniform, because I don't imagine tra uh, knocking you out is a really good idea with these people here. Oh, although, I guess I could drag you back around here and I have more anesthetic, right? Oh, no, there are people here too. I assume in this room here, this server room, it kind of makes it sound like there might be an option to, like, disable the cameras or something. And I mean, they don't look especially thrilled to be monitoring them anyway. <laughs> If I disable the cameras, I could pick the lock and get into that room without everyone immediately being alerted. In that room, in that room, there was a general's outfit just sitting there. So this is the ser other server rooms. The server rooms, other entrance, and there is no cam. Oh, there is a camera watching it. So is the idea that I shoot that one out with the my silenced gun from like over here, or will they notice that? There's no obvious indicator that anyone has noticed that. Although if I was gonna, if I'm gonna shoot out the thing so I can get into the server room, I may as well just shoot out the camera that actually is in my way. Although I'm kind of curious what's in the server room now. We've got a close by save, so why not? What's in the server room? Something, something, something. H A. One. Uh, I guess I could put a bomb here and blow this up, couldn't I? Or maybe just shoot it with my silenced gun. I don't actually know what this would do for me, blowing, breaking this. Uh, why not? Let's give it a try just shooting it with a silenced gun. Surveillance disabled! That's exactly what that does. Well, that's handy. Although, I guess that probably makes people a little weirded out. <laughs> but at least I don't have to shoot any more cameras. Because that could pose a problem. Person just went around that corner there. The music is completely stopped, by the way, which I don't know if it's because I turned off the, the uh, surveillance or what. So no one should notice me picking this lock now, right? Because no one's walking by and no one can see it on the cameras. I could also probably have just shot out every camera that was pointing at it, but I like the way we did it better. That's cooler and more spy like. Well, I'm not a spy. I'm an assassin, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Question is, oh, and I think I think the uh, this kind of the person wearing this kind of uniform also had an AK, right? So I probably don't have to change gun. Ah, and they're not looking for they're looking for suspicious soldiers still, right? So I probably um. They're going to be a little less suspicious of me now that I've got this outfit, which is gonna nice. And this means I don't have to, like, hurry my way on in through the elevator. I'm totally, like, allowed to be there and stuff, we think. Which should make everything just a little bit easier. Is it just me, or is my reticle, like, much more precise all of a sudden than, uh... was in the previous mission when I was trying to use it to shoot from across the apartment way? Not sure why that is. Have I swapped firing modes, or is it just because it's a different gun? Yeah, right, so that didn't, person didn't even sort of, like, they thought it was weird because they didn't recognize my face for a moment there, but they didn't actually, like, stop and go, hmm, wait a minute, and start, like, following me around because I'm wearing a different outfit now. Exceptionally cool. Oh, I didn't even notice there was a person there at all. Holy crap, so when I ran through here the first time, that's why there was a problem. I thought it was because that person through the bars saw me, and I was like, how did that possibly happen? No, 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 wait, sorry, call elevator is what I meant. Ah, damn it. <laughs> I just send it down to the floor below me. It's fine, I'm sure the interrogation target can hang on for a bit longer. 
I like reached through the grate and like hit the second basement button. Neat, neat, neat. I, I mean, I figured when I saw a server room right beside this big surveillance room that that had something to do with it, but I wouldn't have guessed that just shooting the monitor once with <laughs> a 9mm would disable the entire surveillance system. That seems pretty shoddy. One single computer controls it all and is easily dispatched with a such a small bullet. I mean, to be fair, humans are easily dispatched with much smaller bullets, but anyway... Nothing here nor there. So I'm assuming because this door was locked and not pickably so, that in that observation room is where we're going to find the key. To be fair about the server thing, I can't chalk that up to an entire solve on my part either, because it also has a little exclamation mark there. Tell me something important is there. Very kind of them to mark those important details for us. And it's just enough information that there's something you want to look into here that I don't feel... It doesn't feel like it's spoiling anything for me, because, you know, I, I, could have, I might have walked around for hours without noticing that, because why would I go to this one little room? But you don't actually need to use all of them, and, we, and we've skipped a few before, and still found a way through. So it's like, it's not like you see an exclamation mark and you know, okay, I definitely have to go there at some point. But it's also not like, there's no reason to investigate that because it would be something useless, or they don't have it at all, and I just have to walk around guessing. So I think before everyone, like, came after me immediately because I made a ruckus on the floor above, I still want to kind of keep out of people's eyesight and stuff. This person, like, walked over here, right? So surely they're gonna walk back and leave the observation room unattended in a moment. Yeah. So let's just, the second that we get into suspicion range, I'll just try and slip past them like that. Ooh, that was bad! That was real bad! They thought that was unusual! They didn't think it was that unusual, though. And into here we go. Probably no one will see me pick the lock here. Good thing they don't have any security cameras down here. I mean, that would be horrible otherwise. Ah! Wait, hey, what What made you say that that was the time to do that? Probably I could have waited for them to walk a little farther on. I guess they heard me. Still not quite sure what the night vision is for. It's not too dark anywhere around here. I guess if I shot out some lights and I was trying to turn into a shootout, it would give me the advantage if the lights were off. I feel like we're pretty close on this, though. I reckon the key will be in that observation room. So when you think about it like that, I was mere steps away. Because if I can get into the interrogation room and take the guy out with a silenced, my silenced gun, then it probably, if no one would be any of the wiser, I can just walk right out, right? Mm, that said, I don't know how that works with the prisoner. Although if I got the general's outfit, maybe I'm allowed to lead the prisoner and no one will think that's weird. The good thing about this outfit just being lying here is it means because I'm not anesthetizing anyone to get to it, there's no time limit once I've got it on. I can just take as long as I want, in theory. You're the gun, you're the camera I have to bring down, but I want to make sure I'm not in range of, viewing range of the other, that camera when I do it. Oh, it's the keypad I have to shoot. Gotcha. I just got that lucky on that one last time. I guess the music just doesn't move down here. <laughs> Honestly, walking without showing them my face is probably even more suspicious because of the huge barcode on my the back of my head, but that's fine. Right, so I was pretty good. It seems like I was totally fine to walk uh, as far as I did last time. Only issue was, I think that they heard me picking the lock. So probably, what it, I, I waited for them to go away, which is a smart thing to do, but I probably didn't wait long enough. Although it's going to be tough to actually get, because that interrogation room is right across from that guard's room, so I have to imagine... Who is the man someone hired to kill me? And where Who's the man someone hired to kill me? Uh, don't worry about it. <laughs> um... Usually classified, and I... Did he just say it's hugely classified and I can't tell you? <laughs> Dude's got guts. Anyway, if it's right across from the guards thing, I'm gonna have to be really careful to make sure I have to get in there with the AK so that there's no guards walking around fi find it funny that I am walking around without one, I think. But I also have to be cautious that uh, no one that I, that I bring out the silenced gun quick enough to take down the, the interrogator, but also not not early enough that everyone in the guard room sees me hold it. Although I guess they don't have a direct sight line from their room to. To that there, so. And by the way, does this person, when they leave, do they just go into the room? And how long do they stay there? I should probably should, before I pick any locks, I should probably take note of that. Excuse me. I'll watch this door now, it's fine. I'm watching this door. Piss off, please. Because I started, I started picking the lock, like, now, so they almost definitely, like, just heard it and turned around. But if I hang out here, how long does it take for them to come back? This is already enough time where if they're in the room now, I could have picked the lock. So that's good. It's like a fair minute, at least, I have. Yeah, it's about a minute. So I'll just casually walk over here and be guarding this portion here. I think when I go, go in here also, uh, I ha I'm going to want to wait till I can be sure that the, that the general in there is not facing my way and then sneak in so I can just go like with the silenced one 
and no one will know. No one from the guard room will know, I mean. And if, if I'm right that they don't have any security in there, then I, I should be really fine to, like, if I silence to take him down. Oh boy, you're gonna notice this, aren't you? Just barely got away with that, because they're not looking for a suspicious uh, general. Should be able to just walk right on out of here. I don't know if that'll work with the prisoner, but I should be able to open the other door on the other side of the hallway, right? And that won't be a problem, like, because there's just no one guarding that part. I don't know how easy a time I'll have getting the prisoner out with the elevator and all, but... Anyway, open this. Please don't be anyone in here. And there should be a key somewhere right here, right? Because where else would it be? Oh, never mind! You're just in... Oh, I see. Well, I, I guess even shooting... Is it like a one-way mirror? Oh, I guess so. Oh, observation room. Yes, that makes sense. Um, So I could silence shoot you from here, but I guess the glass, that would be a problem, right? The people will hear the glass. Do you think they'll hear the glass? Let's find out if they hear the glass. I have an AK. Nothing suspicious. Right, cool. So, um, how do I get in there now? I mean, it doesn't seem like anyone noticed, right? Oh, unless the, maybe this door isn't even locked. I didn't even consider that. Well, hey, if no one outside heard that, then this is perfect. Yeah, they've got the same American flag boxers, so this I think it's the same CIA agent whose name I completely forgot from the previous game. Maybe the door is just isn't locked from this side. And so once you head back into your room, I could just walk in here. I don't even think I tried it, did I? Locked from this side as well. Oh, bugger. So I, I I need a key that I don't have, and I have no idea where it could be. Hang on. I've had a bad track record with missing obvious keys in this game before, though, so... Hey! Buddy! CIA agent Rodney or whatever your name is. Can you... Go unlock that door for me. Hey! Hey! Why would he even look at me? Fine. It's because I forgot your name, isn't it? I see how it is. I'll find it my own way in there. Thanks very much. Well, the good news is that no one has any idea that this is happening still. Eek. Oh, hey. Sorry. Nah, you can go on back. I won't dock your pay if you let this slide. I'm just keeping my eyes out for any unusual looking keys that we see anywhere. Or usual looking keys, really. As long as it's a key. It's making me very nervous that you keep standing up and sitting down. I'll fire you if you do that again. Ah, I have so much power. <laughs> wait, calm down. Relax. Just take the day off, actually, now that I think about it. Oh, wait, I, you're not, I'm not actually blocked by the sideline. Don't tell anyone I'm in here. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Finally got to the side of these bars. God damn, it takes forever to walk slowly and not suspiciously. No, 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 I, I did the damn same thing again. Um, some god... I mean, we may as well take the deagle while we've got a chance. Uh, I'm not sure why this is ringing. Can I answer it? Should I answer it? I don't, I don't seem to be able to. Oh, so she said there were two generals, so presumably there's one more mission we're going to do in Petersburg here. I'm going to get somewhere safe. Safe. <laughs> and then try the mobile phone and the pager. Oh, that's, that's just like explaining how they get into contact once he leaves the sewers. But I've got an earpiece or something, right? Waiting in the elevator. Oh, I hope leading doesn't make me suspicious, because <laughs> otherwise that was really risky what I just did. Don't you say anything! Don't you say anything! Don't you dare! Don't you dare me! Don't do that! <laughs> I'll fire you! <laughs> no, wait! Why are we walking the same way? Hey, wait! Look, the tater tots were an accident. Okay, I thought they were mine. I'm sorry. I'll buy you some new ones. <laughs> it was an accident. I knew they weren't mine. <laughs> Why are you all suspicious of things and stuff? Don't be. No one likes this side of you. Even if I do complete the mission at this point, it's gonna be like <laughs> 40 minutes elapsed. I mean, in theory, I'm pretty close. I've got the target. All I have to do is get the prisoner the heck out of here and blow open that wall, but I did it again. <laughs> get back up here. The elevators seem a lot less buggy in this one, which is nice. I'm not worried about falling through the floor in them. What does all this stuff do anyway? Uh, left clicking with the pager doesn't seem to do anything. I've got a bad feeling the same thing will be true of the phone. Yeah, okay, so I don't, I don't know what those are for, I guess just for, to explain how we're going to communicate after this. I've got a feeling it's not supposed to be hard to find, and I'm being dumb. <laughs> like it was in the asylum, where it was like hanging on a wall, it just looked, kind of, it was just really tiny. This poor CIA agent just like, bang, 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 bang. <laughs> the person interrogating him is dead, and they're just silenced for like a half hour, and he's still tied to the chair. It's got to be in the observation room, right? Rodney, tell me where the key is. Hey, you're... Mate, you're not even tied to the chair. Can you just get up and unlock the door, please? <laughs> or it feels like 47 should be able to, like, vault through here or something.
I didn't know I could vault it. It doesn't say press E to vault. Oh, it absolutely does. I'm such a moron. Ah, oh, how did I miss that? All right, buddy, let's get you out of here. Is that really you? Yep. I can't believe it's really you. I know, it's been Likewise, some time. He's not tied up, 47. You back in Romania. <laughs> you were pretty messed up back then. Yeah, yeah, I know. I owe you big time. Let me know if I can help you with anything. You name it. Uh, let's Start just get out for starters. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Hey, I know how we can get out of here really fast. I stole a key card from a drunk guard. Pretty clever, huh? Not bad. I can use this. Interesting. Um. Oh, you're just. Are you gone? Oh, I ordered a bonus save. Sure, I may as well use that before everything goes wrong. Oh crap! I don't get to save those between missions, 47. do I? Maybe I do. A key card. What the hell would I use that for when I've got the bomb? Okay, it seems like I don't actually have to guide him out. Oh no, maybe I do. I'm gonna stick to the original plan, which was just to uh, blow the wall open. If that's all right with you, Rodney. Nice disguise, though. You look like you totally blend in. Ah, uh, okay. That's why they gave me an extra save, because stuff is about to go wrong, regardless of how well I did. <laughs> Wait, what? No, don't buzz that! Hey, look! I wouldn't worry if I were you, honestly. Um, Don't take that call, you know what? You deserve a break, my friend. Hey, hey, how's it going? <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> yeah, you don't need to... You don't need to listen to what that was about to say. I'm sure it was something important. You, you've been had, you've been working a long, entire day. You get some rest, my friend. So I guess they walked in there into that locked room and saw that <laughs> the guy was dead. Rodney, Rodney, act natural. Uh, we're almost there. Oh, maybe the keycard will be useful in another mission beyond us. I'm going to assume you, your saves don't carry over from mission to mission. If I had like abstain from using one here, but um, if they do, I'm going to feel like a real tool because I could have probably saved it. it this isn't going to be a problem. It doesn't seem like so I probably could have saved that one a little uh, for a little longer, but it's nice of them to give them to you some bonus saves to you in, uh even on this difficulty, just that you don't have to redo tedious stuff like walking very slowly. <laughs> no one's around right now. I should be able to slip in here. This is the wrong room. Sorry. Wasn't paying attention to where we we're going. Out of my Rodney! Rodney! They're gonna see us! <laughs> uh, sorry, I skipped it. It was back there. Rodney, please tell me you can open doors by yourself. Okay, good. Rodney, let's hang out in this hallway for a minute. It seems like they weren't actually looking at him, and they are only looking at me. He blends in better than I do. Okay, they're going where we want to be, but they'll they'll bugger off out of there in a minute. Key card? I can't even think of a door that required a key card that we needed to go through. Is that in my inventory now? It is not, so presumably that's going to show up in a later mission then. Never mind. Yes, yes. Go on your way. Go find your tater tots, fair guard. I wonder where they are. Surely not in this room. Where a bomb is not going to be planted for sure. Now, Rodney, you're going to have to stand well back from this. Uh, I don't know if you know what this is called. It's a bomb. And it ain't cute like in the cartoons where there's a little fuse. Any bomb, so boop, we can just throw that down there. What, what? Oh, I had to I left click to arm it. Uh, oh, and I just G to drop it, I guess. You just throw it on the ground, probably is fine. And now let's head back up to here, Rodney. Get well clear, and we're gonna have to blow this and then run. Uh, do you remember the way? Right, cross, left, right, whatever, something like that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. No, left, it was left, cross. We crossed twice anyway, so just follow me, okay? Let's go. <laughs> Oh my god, they're coming right now! Rodney, we got a really haul ass! Um, and then it was left from here, I'm pretty sure, and then through here. Rodney, you with me still, buddy? Buddy? Okay, you're coming. Good! Sheesh. Don't scare me like that! Keep up, man! You've only been in prison for however long. <laughs> oh, sweet, I think we made it through that. I, don't, I doubt a rank will be Silent Assassin, but we probably got a pretty good stealth and pretty low aggression. High five! <laughs> this face now looking at you see me was like, what? What you? <laughs> nice. Oh, rating was professional. Time thirty seven minutes. Yeah. So I don't know if it was it went it was lowered because uh, so it's probably because I it, it doesn't say I have any close encounters or anything like that. So it's probably that my aggression is higher because uh, I fired a bunch of shots. I was all like. <laughs> <laughs> just like lining up one shot because I was panicking. But hell yeah, that didn't go too poorly. And our overall has got to be like climbing way closer to stealthy and low aggression. Hell yeah, our rating is shadow now. That's cool. So that took a lot longer because <laughs> I couldn't find the key because there wasn't one. 
At least not that I, not as far as I know. But that honestly went off uh, totally without a hitch. I'm glad I went back and um, divine pulsed that uh, extraneous kill we had because that was completely unnecessary. It was just sloppy. And hell yeah, I feel so good about that. I'm glad we'd gotten the last three in basically like perfect stealth, near flawless stealth. And yeah, the stealth in this game, now that I'm getting, I, and after that first episode, I gotta be honest, I was really nervous. I was like, oh wait, this game is gonna be like, way more awkward to do and stuff just because I didn't figure out how to do that first one but everything in Petersburg has gone lovely and I'm starting to feel like I'm getting to the swing of how this game's stealth is kind of set up I really do like the addition of the suspicion meter where it's like you can be disguised but only so disguised because they know your face is weird because it really does add that like that tense action movie feeling where you're like you know you're not supposed to be there but you're just like kind of walking along like yeah, i belong here and you can see people as like as you go by them they're like wait a minute that's probably my imagination and you're like <laughs> and like every time you squeeze by someone in a hallway you're just like don't notice anything it's so much fun so let's like continue and see are they gonna just bring us to the last general's mission immediately looks like they are just kill the general. We'll listen to that uh, mission briefing next time. Well, I guess this will be our last mission in St. Petersburg, and then we'll finally get a chance to head back to... Uh, S We're not in... Is, is it, was our church in Sicily? or did, I can't remember. It's somewhere in Italy, anyway. The villa was definitely in Sicily, I'm pretty sure. Definitely, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> but that's all for now. The next video on the channel is going to be some more of the Stanley Parable. As a matter of fact, it is the finale of the Stanley Parable, so we'll be closing out that playthrough then. Oh, this is such good fun. I'm, I'm, get, I'm finally sort of getting to the, the stealth work, it, because... It, because it works in the same, it, it's almost like the same engine and everything, I was expecting it to feel very, very similar to the first game, but this game is a completely different beast in terms of the the stealth and the social stealth. And so it took it took a, it took a few hours of calibration, but I'm starting to get there. Oh yeah! Feeling good. Thank you so very much for coming around. Hopefully I'll see you around. I'm almost gonna be out of here now. Peace! Oh, mm -hmm.